A field of eight lining up for the first of two eliminations tonight for next Saturday's $250,000 Berries Creek Final. For three-year-old pacing Colts, top five return next week. They're at the post and heading toward the start. And they're off twin B dynamic. In between horses, Artesian sprints out quickly to his inside. He wants it all. Is on hurried from the rail. Sir Luck is angling over four positions. Cyanide has come out racing in fifth. Then it's past the deck, sixth on the inside. Iced Yankee backs off comfortably in the early stages from seventh. And Crystal Art at the tail of the field is the trailer as Sir Luck moves around twin B dynamic. And Sir Luck is now taking the lead as they cruise toward the quarter. Artesian chased a bit as gap slightly in third. Front pan and 27 and 1. He wants it all. Is racing in fourth. Cyanide fifth as they hit the back stretch. Past the deck is sixth. And he wants it all. Tips to the outside. And Miller gives him a couple of taps with the whip. And he wants it all. Accelerates quickly. And he's coming after Sir Luck to challenge for the front. Ice Yankee tips out from seventh toward the back of the pack. And Crystal Art is following him as he wants it all. Moves up to grab the lead. Sir Luck yields for the pocket and second. And Twin B Dynamic is watching that pair from third. The half up in 55 and 2. Artesian is racing in fourth and he tips to the outside. So Ice Yankee has his cover to follow. Sinai trying to move up sixth on the inside. Then it's Crystal Art and past the deck has gone on a break at the back of the pack. He trails the field. Twin B Dynamic flushed out from third. He's right alongside of Sir Luck for the second spot. Chasing he wants it all as they head to three quarters. And he wants it all as they are in 124 and 2. A 29 second third quarter breather. Sir Luck is in behind the leader, racing in second. Twin B Dynamic on the outside third. Cyanide is fourth. Artesian racing in fifth. He wants it all under a confident Dave Miller. Hand drive is striding away to lead it by two. Sirlock is second. Twin B Dynamic and Cyanide battling for third. They're coming down to the finish. He wants it all. Very sharp tonight. Sirlock was second. Cyanide was third. Winding up fourth. Twin B Dynamic tight for fifth between Artesian and Crystal Art. 151 flat. Returning to the winner's circle, number one, he wants it all. A three-year-old colt by the big dog out of Tracy Miss by Peter Lobel. He's owned by Mike Polanski of Ludenville, New York. Ross Krogan, the trainer, and Dave Miller is in the sulky. He wants it all is just a nose away from a perfect season. That's now seven wins and eight starts. He's already won two series finals here at the Big M, and he scores tonight in a career best of 151, a last quarter of 26-3 and three, under a hand drive all the way. So he wants it all, stamps himself as perhaps the favorite for the Berries Creek next Saturday, taking the first elimination. Number one, he wants it all, pays $3, 220, 210. Finishing second, number six, Sir Luck, 260 and 210. And third, number two, Cyanide, 210 to show. Exacta one and six pays $8.60. The 162 try, 6220, and the pick three payoff will cycle up momentarily. In the upcoming fourth race, one claim on number eight, Playing Field, and one claim on number nine, Master of His Domain. Fourth race, one claim on the eight and the nine, Superfecta to go with Exacta Trifecta, and pick three, no changes in the upcoming pick three. Berries Creek winner, owner Mike Polanski, driver Dave Miller. Dave, you are a nose away from being undefeated here. We just, maybe you can get that race back there. I think it was seven, eight starts back, but, but other than that, he's had a wonderful season. Yeah, he's been uh, ultra sharp all through the whole, whole way. He's come off a little bit of a layoff here. How did he feel tonight? Oh, very good. He was very comfortable right through the wire. He paced good and strong and uh, seemed to be in good shape. Sitting fourth in the back stretch, I noticed you, uh, did you hesitate slightly about coming out? Did you want to go for the lead? Do you think about going first over? Tell us about that. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I didn't know what to expect when the gate left, and uh, I figured Luke would probably leave out, and just whether uh, how hot the pace would be, I just uh, made my mind up at the quarter that they uh, started back down, so I thought I'd give him a chance. Wouldn't be dynamic, came after you to the three quarters. Anything serious there? No, he felt very comfortable all the way, and uh, top of stretch, I asked him, and he dug right in. I was real happy with him. Is he ready to make them move up to the top three-year-old, do you think, or is he right now is he a top three-year-old? I, I, I would say he's pretty close. I mean, he's been doing everything we want him to do. I, I, I can't, can't fault him anywhere. Okay, Dave Miller. Mike Polanski, you've had a nice ride so far here. He wants it all, huh? Yes, thank you. Yeah, we bought him from uh, very good people, and he's doing wonderfully. Do you tell us a little bit about that month, a uh, little more than a month off? Uh, we just felt uh, that he, you know, should uh, have time off because the season's very long.
Okay, and tell us about uh, the Berries Creek final. You're in it now. What about uh, what happens to him? He wants it all after that. Uh, it's up to the trainer, Ross Krogan. He's done a terrific job with him. Is it possible that you have yourself a Meadowlands Pace finalist here? Oh, yeah. That's why, that's why I bought him. Okay, Mike Blansky, congratulations. He wants it all. Definitely one of the horses to beat. Berries Creek final, 275 next week.